Hey, what is going on guys? It is Fresh and I am back again bringing you guys another addition to Versus FIFA and if you don't know what Versus FIFA is, it's pretty much where I could play two players from the same league that are playing the exact same position and pretty much let you know which player that you should get and I generally always use a more expensive player versus a cheaper player and in today's episode I'm going to be comparing Kevin De Bruyne versus David Silva. Now Kevin De Bruyne is going for 800 coins on the Xbox and 900 coins on the PS3 while David Silva is the most expensive non-rare, excuse me, non-inform um, cam in the BPL. He's going for 110,000 coins while on the PS3 he's going for 137,000 coins. So that is a huge price difference. So I'm going to let you know which one of these guys is worth your money. Which one should you go and pick up? The first one I'm going to start talking about is David Silva. Now you just go into his in-game stats and you just see a sea of green. Very excellent. His dribbling is definitely one of his strong points. Even some nice finishing, some decent uh, shot power in him, but his short passing and his long passing are pretty extraordinary. He also has high low work rates with the 2 star Wii Fit and the 4 star skill moves. To his physical stats though, that 95 agility is really excellent you know i really love his 95 agility and then to his mental sets i mean that vision is absolutely extraordinary and he even has some pretty good attacking positioning so you can always expect this guy to be in the right positions but the first thing off for cam one of the most important things is the passing now davis silva has some pretty great passing now I, uh, I didn't get enough clips of him actually passing but while i was using him i definitely Managed to get a few passes off of him, including his crossing. Now, I think he got managed to give me like four assists in the 10 games that I played with him, which is actually pretty good. I think it was like maybe eight goals, four assists. So that's actually really good because that showed that he had made some sort of impact in my team. You know, shooting wise, he was okay. You know, long shots. He's not the best. I would definitely say that that 80 shot power really lets him down. So outside the box, sometimes goalies would just get to it, and that's that. You know, goalies didn't have a hard time saving his shots whatsoever, and you'll see that in some of the clips. But inside the box, however, this guy was really great. You know, 81 finishing. It definitely feels a little bit higher. You know, goalies actually had a hard time trying to stop this guy's shot while he was on his left foot, and um. Overall, I mean, inside the box, he is good. He's one of those cams that, like, you can't rely on him to shoot too much. But if he is inside the box, then you can expect him to finish. But outside the box, I honestly don't expect him to finish. His shot power is too low. And honestly, a lot of goalies just get to it beforehand and uh, makes a shot null and void. Now, this guy also has some very excellent dribbling. Dribbling is just one of this guy's main key points. I mean... He has 88 dribbling on the card, I believe, and that is absolutely insane. And on the picks, you can definitely feel that 91 ball control, I believe like 87 dribbling. And his agility, though, his agility makes everything so much better. This guy is 5'7 with 95 agility, so turning with him definitely isn't that hard. He is extremely good at dribbling, so it's very easy for you to weave in and out of those defenders. Now, one big con with this guy, honestly, is his two-star weak foot. It it absolutely irritated me because as a player in the central role, you're not always going to be able to shoot on your left foot. Sometimes you have to shoot on your weak foot and David Silva just doesn't have that. His weak foot is absolutely horrid. So that's one thing that you'll really have to think about. I mean, he has great passing. He has a, a pretty solid shot on him inside the box. But when it comes to his weak foot, I mean, it, it's like he, he's one footed, honestly, like he has his weak foot is just a huge con with him because there's some times where I'm like okay i need to shoot on his strong foot but i can't because he's on his weak foot and then like the shot is just pretty much done because he his right foot is absolutely useless and honestly i just don't feel the rating for him you know normally when you get an 88 rated player you're expecting that player to feel like an 88 rated player but he just didn't feel like that for me but nevertheless this is david silva now moving on to the next person it is going to be kevin de Bruyne. now when you look at this guy's in game stats you don't see any green dark green like david silva however you notice that every stat that needs to be green is green except the penalties which is at 79 but that doesn't matter too much i mean 
passing stats they're all in the green shooting stats they're all in the green i mean i love his 87 long shots so he has some really great skill stats he also has five star weak foot and a four star skill moves with a high medium work rate which means he's always going to be in position 83 sprint speed 75 acceleration which is actually pretty decent and the 75 strength really helps him out and i will talk about that later and also 82 attack positioning and 80 vision which also play a key role in this guy's car stats now in the game this guy made a huge difference. Now, David Silva didn't make a difference, but this guy made a huge difference. Now, first off, his free kicks. That was a very excellent free kick. You know, I had multiple opportunities with David Silva to take free kicks, but they didn't go in. They were completely off target. It actually kind of irritated me because I'm like, really, you know, power of I mean, like the driven free kicks didn't work. The over the uh the over the wall free kicks didn't work. I don't know, man. David Silva's free kicks were just nothing compared to DeBron's free kicks. And not only that, I mean that goal right there was made after the pass. I mean that just kind of shows you what type of damage this guy can really do. I mean. On the pitch, his shooting is extraordinary. I mean, seriously, on the pitch, this guy plays way better than what his stats say. I mean, shooting-wise, he is very excellent. Finishing, he finishes everything. Left foot, right foot, it does not matter. And that's one thing that sets him and David Silva apart. Because the fact, like, he can make shots like this. If I were to try that with David Silva, I would have absolutely no chance in trying to make that. Because he, he does he just doesn't have the shot power. But Kevin DeBrane, that, that 84 shot power really does make a difference and i mean just look at this volley right here that was just spectacular what a beautiful volley i mean he makes shots like that for days i mean inside the box outside the box left foot right foot it does not matter and when it comes to passing too this guy is very excellent when it comes to passing now he's not on david silva's level just david silva's passes are just a little bit better but however because of the fact that he has five star weak foot it doesn't matter which foot you are using to take the pass with i mean his passes are very excellent and honestly you could count on every one of them over the top through balls crosses short passes it does not matter this guy will make some beautiful passes for you and that's one thing that i absolutely loved about this guy dribbling wise he is great not as great as david silva because he doesn't have that agility but his his dribbling is really excellent you know it's good enough for you to count on and i mean i absolutely love dribbling with this guy because i've never had a hard time trying to get in and out of defenders and that's one thing that i definitely did like about him and he has strength to 75 strength for a cam is really great because because he is not just getting bullied off the ball you know really great uh, really great sprint speed on him as well you know um once he hits that top speed he does very excellent overall debrane is one of those excellent cams for his price i mean can you really say no to him but now let's go ahead and compare these two now for the uh for kevin debrane i might have to give this guy a five out of five for both rating and value because i mean for 800 coins i mean the the value that you get out of this guy is absolutely amazing and kevin debrane on the pitch just says something else this guy is great in every aspect on the other hand david silva gets a four out of five for rating because i mean he did make a good impact on the team his uh, his passing was definitely great solid shot in the box but his value is definitely a 3.5 out of five just because for 88 rated player i was expecting so much more i mean he was good on a pitch, but he wasn't extraordinary on the pitch. And that's kind of what you would look for when you were when you would spend 110,000 coins for 88 rated players. So obviously, the winner for this versus FIFA is going to be Kevin DeBron just because he goes for so cheap and he does so much work on the pitch that I, you can't ignore this guy. Honestly, this is my number one pick for a BPO cap, and he is worth every penny so definitely try him out i mean he is very cheap so even if you don't like him you're not losing too many coins but overall this is the winner let me know down in the comments below who i should do next in versus fifa and i hope you guys enjoyed the episode this is fresh i am out thanks for watching peace